Hey everyone, it's Amy from Amy Lynn Designs. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to show you how I sew in a zipper overlay. I have all of my supplies, so let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is locate the center of both of our uh, fabric and our zipper overlay. To do that with a zipper overlay, the easiest way to do it when you're dealing with a zipper overlay that has an interesting shape like this one, you just wanna fold it and make it meet based upon the box, the cutout box, not the edges. The edges are strange because these are curved and so you won't get an exact. So I fold in half and I've marked it with a pencil. You can see that right there. So now this is ready to go. Now all we wanna do is mark the center of this. This is easy. All you wanna do is take your fabric, fold it in half, grab your scissors, which mine has a pin stuck to it because that's cool. Toss it over there. And then just take a nick out. You need to be able to line up the zipper overlay center to center on the overlay and the fabric. So I've taken out that little nick, as you can see, it's gone. Now what I wanna do is, we're gonna push that a little bit out of the way. What we're gonna do is use the ruler to line it up. Before we do that, we need to apply something, an adhesive of some sort, to the back of this. What I like to do is, you can use tape, tape's totally fine. I have some double-sided tape here. Or you can use Elmer's glue. Now, if you're gonna use the Elmer's glue, you have to do this all in one step, like today. You can't let it sit for a couple of days. The longer this sits on that fabric, the more adhered it becomes. We need it to not be completely adhered so we can cut it off of the back once we get going. Um, so, so using this, this is, if I'm making everything and I'm doing this today, I'll go ahead and use Elmer's. If I decide, oh, well, I just wanna get this part done and I'll cut out the window and the opening tomorrow, then I'm gonna use double-sided tape. So there's a cool way to set Elmer's glue once you get it on here. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna use my ruler. I'm gonna show you the cool way in a second here. I'm just gonna put this an inch down or an inch, um, I'm gonna do an inch and a quarter from the top. So I just find any number that I wanna use to mark my center, which is there. And I'm gonna use the five and mark it a quarter inch down. And then I'm gonna take this. Here's this mark. Now what you can do, you can either just use this and line it up, or you can take a pin and just poke it through the back a little bit. You just don't want to poke it through the front. So now I have it like that. That'll help me to guide it next to the five, which is right there. I can pull that out now. Now all I want to do is butt this up against the bottom of that ruler. And there's that. It's set. Our window is nicely shaped. We've got it measured nicely down from the top. I can slide this off, push this out of the way, and here's the cool thing. If you put an iron on this, so now what's cool is it's sticking, right? It's not gonna move. I can flip this over, and I'm gonna take my iron, and I'm just gonna press this. That's it. So what you're doing is drying out the glue. You wanna use a wool setting, no steam, because steam shrinks up the fabric. We don't wanna do that. Wool setting, no steam. And that's it. It's really that simple. And now we're ready to take this over to the sewing machine and sew the zipper overlay. We're at the machine and the first thing we wanna do is sew around the outside of the template. I've lengthened my stitch and I'm gonna start in this upper corner. What I'm gonna do is sew an eighth of an inch around, start here, and when I get about here, I'm gonna stop. I also am gonna leave a long tail. You can see I have a long tail of thread. Why I'm gonna stop is I'm gonna flip this back and tie this off. By doing that, I don't have to backstitch. So let's go ahead and do that.
we want to prepare our pocket to put into the zipper window. So this particular zipper window is six inches. So you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get a six inch zipper. Well, you can if you're using like a YKK pre-measured zip because the extras on the side that don't have the nylon coil on them, that extends past six inches. If you're using zipper by the yard, you need to cut it larger. I like to use a, uh, my guide is about one and a half inches um, additional to the width of the zipper window. That gives me uh, three quarters of an inch on either side to sew the pocket shut. You can do a half an inch if you're comfortable with that, go for it. Um, but this one in particular, uh, I'm doing um, my zipper. This is uh, seven and a half inches wide. So I cut my zip tape seven and a half inches. And now what I want to do, I'm just going to, I put double-sided tape on the narrow stuff. You want to put the wrong side of the zip onto the right side of the fabric. You have to think about that you're looking into the pocket. And when you look in the pocket, you want to see the pretty side. So we're just going to attach this and then sew it in place. So now what we need to do is remove the fabric behind our overlay window. What you want to do next, you want to cut this out. So I'm just going to take this. This is just my straight edge, my box cutter. And I'm going to tear this away from the back of this. Now this is today, okay? This is how easy it pulls away today. Let me show you one that, that's not so easy. Can't get it away. It's, it's almost impossible to tear it away. This is what I was talking about. You can't get it off without really messing. So yeah, that's why if you're going to do this and use Elmer's glue, do it, do it today. All right, back to this. I'm gonna take some scissors, whatever scissors you want. Okay, our fabric is now removed and we can take our zippered pocket that we have prepared. Dun, dun, dun. Here she is. And we're just gonna line her up on this. I'm gonna take some double-sided tape. This is where the tape comes in. If you don't wanna use tape, you can use Elmer's glue again. You just have to let it dry. So this is where you throw some tape right here. Now I am not going to put the tape extending past these edges, these short edges. Our zip is in and we are ready to go stitch this. The last thing we want to do is sew our window in. I start an eighth of an inch past this short edge and I'm going to finish an eighth of an inch past this short edge. 
and I sew an eighth of an inch all the way around. Now what we want to do is sew the short edges and along the top. Make sure you have a long tail and you want to start in the hole that you finished in. We are at the last step. All we want to do now is sew our pocket closed. We are completely finished. Our pocket is sewn closed and we're going to open this up and take a peek inside. You can see there's no exposed zipper edge, and it's a pretty pocket to look into. And we've added this beautiful zipper overlay. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.